What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. One of the, my sponsors, Steel Supplements. Link and discount code down in the description. You also know I'm a Weeble Preferred Vibitor. So glad to see all of you taking advantage of the promotion. Last couple months, it have been rough. $100 minimum to get the free fractional shares. It is now any amount, a single dollar, and you can take advantage of it. But September 2023 only, you have to click the link, open an account. They will give you the free fractional shares as long as you make the deposit. We're going to take a look at All Pro Football. We're going to take a look at Madden. I want to show this to you at speed. Be fair. I spent a lot of time on this video going and getting very similar screen captures of these two games. And then at the end, we're going to talk about a quote by our good buddy Clint that should astonish you. Now, I want to talk about detail. Throwing motion here, both of them I actually think are okay. But the details, I want you to watch the footwork of Roger Craig, specifically the stride adjustment to go catch the ball. Yes, there's an animation, but it's relatively seamless. More so when you compare it to Madden. Watch Christian McCaffrey go and make that same catch. The running in place, the sliding, the shifting, this is what we've asked EA to get away from because it's very unrealistic. It's very animation dependent. Now, not only that, it just looks bad from a visual context. Roger Craig is running. He's looking out in front of him. This is what you would expect a receiver running a route to do. When he goes out to catch the ball, he has to put his hands out, slow his stride, but he picks the stride right back up, and as you can see, he's running away from the defender. This is classic football. This allows him to run away and up the field. Now, in Madden, we literally have the opposite of this. Who runs like this? Who runs with their head off that way? No one. Yet that's what Christian McCaffrey is doing. Watch how quickly he turns around, enters the catch animation as we already show, slides, skips, full stride to pick back up. But here's where the problem starts to come in. He's full stride right here. There's no questions asked. This Miami Dolphin is not going to touch him. He is going to still get pulled back into an animation. Why would his body adjust like that? This is not simulation football, and we've wanted this out of the game for years. We're going to move forward. We're going to take a look at a pass that's a touchdown, okay? It's a very similar situation, but at the same time, it's the difference between someone coming out of the backfield on a wheel route and someone just directly in front of the quarterback. Watching this at speed, it's a beautiful play. Receiver adjusts to the ball, puts his hands out, slows his stride, and he's going to catch the pass. It's very simple to look at. That's football. When we go back, we take a look at Madden. You're going to see something almost totally different. Same scenario, but very different in the action. Quarterback's going to throw the ball. We're going to take a look at just the body position. How goofy does this look? What type of stride is this to run a route? As he goes and catches the ball, it actually gets worse in my opinion, because we have another animation that we're just sliding into. Even the linebacker is pulled into this animation. Now, I know what you're thinking. Talked about it last couple videos. This is a 30 times more powerful console than the game that you've been seeing. What is EA doing? What are they putting into the game that's not football? Well, I'm glad you asked, because it's this. They have focused so much on stupid animations rather than football. So we're going to take a look at one final play here, but I saved the best for last. Now, this is Walter Payton. He's going to dive into the end zone. And I want you to just understand that I can't get these perfect because of how Madden is. But this is a beautiful leap over the fullback into the end zone. When you look at what Madden has to offer, I go to leap, but I'm pulled into an animation and cartwheeled into the end zone. And that, to me, is the epitome of Madden. Look at all these stupid post-play animations that mean nothing, that should be out of the game. When you look from the reverse angle, Walter Payton catches his balance, protects the ball, extends into the end zone. That's a beautiful animation. When you look at what EA has, it's a sloppy mess. And I'm literally trying to go over that lineman. It's still not something that Madden can do because so much of this game is caught up in animations and so much of it is caught up in post-play celebrations. Now, this is what was shown to the NFL back in August. Terrence Newell was overseeing a complete overhaul of player models with Madden NFL 24. And they talk a lot about what the differences are between the player models 
and how realistic you are going to have with sapient technology beyond just football. And to me, when I look at articles like this, when you read this, actually pause this and read what they're telling the NFL. I want you to understand that this is the problem. They're not making simulation football. But I told you, Clint Oldenburg has a quote that astonishes me. He says, We want to continue to blur the lines between our game and the real-life game. I want you to understand that this is what he's saying. That the end goal being allowing our players, meaning you and me, Madden players, to experience what it's like to play in the NFL. I can't say anything more than that. How delusional do you have to be to know exactly how bad your game is, and you stand there and say that you want it to replicate playing the actual sport? So don't tell me that we're nitpicking, because nitpicking happens every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, in Coach's Film. There's no amount of nitpicking that we can do comparing a All-Pro Football 2K8, NFL 2K5, to Madden. You can make the case that Clint here is asking us to actually take real football and compare it. I'm being, I think, overly generous by comparing a game that was built on a 30 times lesser console. They go on to say that pride was emanating from the developers in the June preview event. The presentation they gave was like watching a coach go through film. That Madden NFL 24 creative director Connor Dugan said that he was thinking to himself, wow, this is a lot of good, good stuff. I wish every Madden player could get that presentation to really understand these are the type of people that are building this thing. And that's a lot of great stuff in this game. Well, you know what, Connor? We're here as a community to talk to you. Clint, we're here to not just showcase you in videos. I do love to showcase you in videos, but the fact that you two had the audacity to know that your user scores are so low and to have this level of pride, but more importantly, to have this high of a standard for yourself astonishes me. There is nothing that I can say or do on a video to compare your game to anything else that will hold you to this high of a standard. That you actually feel like, as a former NFL practice lineman, you can confidently say your end goal was allowing Madden players to experience what it's like to play in the NFL. So I promise you, when you have a developer overly proud of a horrible product, standing beside a lead designer that believes he's making a game that's equivalent to you playing in the National Football League, there is no way I cannot be back in the wake with more comments.